I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up for the two of you. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Leo, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this Eight of Wands, and it's with the Ace of Cups. Now, the Eight of Wands, it's showing that there could have been a lot of things up in the air for you when you get the Eight of Wands. You might feel frustrated, tired of waiting, but this card is actually an indicator that you need to be patient a while longer. Maybe you've done all that you can do, and now decisions have to be made by other people. So when this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead. Don't try to force things, because it could backfire on you. Just know that sometimes our actions, they're all in the risk, risk and all you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. The Eight of Wands is with the Ace of Cups, which is a very, very powerful, positive card in the deck when it comes to love, happiness, and affection. Like all the Aces, it's about new beginnings, and although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. Things are looking up. People would respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill more than usually. And you should be feeling good about life overall. It's also a great time to make to make friends when you get the Ace of Cups. Yeah, so what I'm getting, Leo, for you and your person, the recent past energy, Eight of Wands, clarified by this Ace of Cups, is that, wow, you were dealing with someone that, for some of you, your person lived long distance. And there was a lot of back and forth communication. Back and forth, back and forth. And because it's with this Ace of Cups, wow, I'm, I'm, pick, I'm picking up there was a lot of steamy, romantic, passionate conversation. A lot of warmth in the conversation, if you know what I mean. Steamy. Yeah, deep attraction is what you get with the Ace of Cups. Warmth, conversation, it, it felt good, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so back and forth, back and forth, a lot of talking. Like I said, for a lot of you, your person lived long distance. So there was a lot of passionate conversation by phone. Maybe even by message. Maybe maybe even with pictures. Steamy pictures. Very hot. I'm getting hot and steamy. Sexual type of communication. Because like I said, the Ace of Cups is about warmth. Deep attraction. And then the wands can usually be about a lot of passion. Whenever you see the wands. In the tarot. It's, it can be passionate. So yeah, for a lot of you, your person is long distance. But it didn't, it felt like it. And it didn't feel like it. Because there was, you two kept close contact by communicating. Yeah, so, anyway, a lot of love there, too, with the Ace of Cups. They had a lot of love for you, you had a lot of love for you. And both of you felt it. Yeah, or at least it felt like it, put it that way. Um, yeah. I'm going to, you know, can you just give me a minute? I'm going to close this window because I keep getting distracted. All right, just give me one second. Okay. 
Okay, so what's coming up for the two of you? Ace of Pentacles and it's got the King of Swords. Alright, so this Ace of Pentacles with this card, you're likely to, to um, find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels and these are positive new beginnings. You could be feeling optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about your future. Things should be going well. You could be starting something new. This could be an area of work, personally, romantically. But either way, it's a really good thing when you get the Ace of Pentacles. Now, it's with the King of Swords, which can often stand for a powerful, opinionated, forceful man in your life. He will often, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. You may be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally, especially when this card is not representing an actual person in your life, so you might want to consider the feelings of others before you act. The King of Swords is a very, very forceful energy. You may not be able to get this person or man in your life to change his mind or to do what you want. So, you may need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, or expectations, but don't overextend your reach. So basically, Leo, you know, coming up Ace of Pentacles, clarified by this King of Swords, coming up for you and your person. Yeah. Hmm, I'm getting, okay, you got two new beginning cards here. This Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So I'm getting that you've been trying to have some type of new beginning with, with this person, with your person that you've been communicating a lot with. A lot of back and forth communicating. Maybe you, if you're long distance, maybe you were trying to get this person to move closer or something. Some type of new beginning you've been trying, you've been really trying to make happen. But you got, like I said, two new beginning cards here. The aces are usually about new beginnings. If this is a new person that came into your life, you're, feel, you're feeling like it's all about, it's too much, there's too much talk going on and not enough action, not enough actual action, not enough real action. There's too much talk and not enough, you know how they say the proof is in the pudding? Yeah, you need to, you're needing to feel that it's more real. It just seems like things are just kind of like up in the air. So you're really wanting a new beginning or either if this is someone you've been with for a while, you want it to take off to the next level or you want it to become a fresh new start. You're wanting that, but your person is just, they're not really budging. King of Swords, they don't, King of Swords does not budge. You could, when you're dealing with the King of Swords, you could feel like you're, you're dealing with someone who thinks things are all about them. They're concerned about their wants and needs. This type of person could be the type where you feel like they're just using their head and not their heart. So it's, it's been really hard to get them to, to step, o step over to your side. But you want this new beginning. You want them to go above and beyond or try a new approach with you. Try something new with you. Take the connection to the next level. Move closer together. Some type of new beginning you've tried to convince your person to do, but they're not budging. King of Swords can be forceful also. 
So this person might make you think that Dead and the King of Swords can be forceful, they can be opinionated, um, they'll overstep their bounds, the King of Swords. Um, they can be stereotypically manly. The King of Swords can be known for mistreating a person. So, very stubborn energy that you're dealing with. And maybe you're just now realizing that you're, you're dealing with someone who's a bit narcissistic. King of Swords is a narcissist in the in the tarot. So yeah, you really wanted something to happen, but your person is just being probably they're probably being nasty about it also. Just kind of rude. And maybe you never saw this side of this person, but it's coming up. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to see a lot more of this person's other side. So let's move over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Well, we got the death card. And the death card is with the nine. It's with the nine of wands. Okay, so... The death card, keep in mind, this card does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. It's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're creatures with free will. Such things are not written in stone. This card simply indicates transformation, change, and definitely a time of deep transformation. Could be both internally and externally in your life. Maybe some situations, things, and people that you've counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. The transition can be very difficult for some people. Though the change is nearly always needed. You know, so with the Nine of Wands, when you get this card... The first and the best step is often to take a deep breath, calm down, don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, if you can do so, because at least some of the worries, they'll very likely turn out to be imaginary. So get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Ask yourself, what's the true likelihood of the worry actually happening? So your challenge is a death card, clarified by Nine of Wands. So yeah, like I said, you're realizing you're dealing with someone who is forceful and this person could start to mistreat you or just, they're starting to feel really cold. You're trying to figure out where is the love that you felt in the recent past with this person because there was a lot of it you felt it with the communication by phone or by messages but now it seems like things are different now I don't know maybe this person moved closer to you and now you're getting to see their other side their dark side so with the nine of wands it's showing that you're closing yourself off yeah, the Nine of Wands is card below the word challenge. See how this person has kind of caged themselves in with all of these wands. And this person looks like they're about to battle someone if, that, if someone comes near them. Yeah, the, with the Nine of Wands, no one gets past your barricade. You're not budging. You'll just sit there. So you're closing yourself off to this person. You're not letting them come anywhere near near you. So I'm getting that this person Yeah, they maybe they were really forceful with you. For some of you, um maybe even mistreated you. And 
it looks like you really just you were trying to get a new beginning or some type of fresh new start maybe you 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 mentioned some type of new ideas for the connection maybe you tried to bring about some new plans maybe you were talking about the future for you and your person it has something to do with some type of new beginning some type of new ideas and your person was just not having it so you could be having some anxiety you're closing yourself off and with the death card here it's showing that you're losing you're losing interest yeah you're losing interest in this person yeah you're starting to see their dark side yeah but at one point wow you guys had a lot of passion I'm just gonna keep looking at the recent past energy those two blue cards that ace of cups and the ace of wands it was a lot of steamy passion and like I said it could have been by phone talk text photos back and forth back and forth and you felt the warmth you could have started to start to love this person with the ace of cups but you're starting to see their dark side yeah so let's move on over let's take a look and see what the outcome is about the queen of swords and the nine of cups queen of swords this is a true pair. Queen, when I mean, you see that you have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, this is a true pair. The Queen of Swords can point to a woman in your life. This woman, um, she's not to be trifled with. She could have dark hair, dark eyes. If this is not a person, it can point to the need for you to be forceful and honest in some situation. Just to get your needs met, so you might need to put your foot down. The Queen of Swords can indicate your instincts. They're serving you well. You already know what it is that you want and need. Now you just have to go after it. The Queen of Swords has a very forceful energy. And some people find this energy really abrasive. Now it's with the Nine of Cups, which is one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to get in the reading. It's known as the Wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for, what you're dreaming about, is most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. The appearance of this card can be about happiness, good things to come. It also can mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, Nine of Cups is the most powerful indicator of yes. Nine of Cups is, is beautiful. Beautiful. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups. But you got the Nine of Cups. It's just short of one cup. So Nine of Cups is really good. So your outcome, Leo. Queen of Swords, clarified by Nine of Cups. Yeah, so the message that I'm getting is that Wow, we've got, like I said, we've got a true pair here. You realize that your person is being very forceful towards you, very nasty. You could be thinking, wow, what happened to the love that you were feeling coming from this person? It's You don't feel it anymore. So they're being really nasty towards you. You're seeing their, you're seeing their dark side. They couldn't hold it back anymore. Maybe you're around this person more. So they're bringing out your nasty. They're bringing out a nasty, as well, they're bringing out a side to you that you usually don't like people to see. Maybe you've got a dark side too. But anyway, they're bringing it out of you. So you're being just as nasty towards them as they are being towards you. They're swearing at you and you're swearing at them. 
They're calling you the B word. You're calling them the B word. They're putting their foot down. You're putting your foot down. You two are going head to toe. Head to toe. This is a true pair here. Queen of Swords and King of Swords. Both of you are spitting at each other. Yeah. Both of you. If you two are in person, you'll bump heads. You'll bump heads. And the both of you will be just as forceful. A true pair. You're not taking their ish, and they're not taking whatever you're dishing at them. They're not taking it. So, Leo's, you're realizing that uh, it's probably time to cut this person out. Yeah. You thought they were your wish come true. You thought they were. You thought they were your Nine of Cups. Because like I said, that recent past energy was, it was pretty passionate. And that's probably what, that's probably all that it was. Sometimes when you get a lot of passion, it could feel like something big. But sometimes it, it doesn't stand the test of time. Sometimes. Sometimes it does. But anyway. Yeah. You thought this was the one, but... It's just looking, it's looking like you two are just bumping heads now. You're bumping heads, the both of you. And you're losing interest. And you're closing yourself off. So, Leo, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Leo, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well. And staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So, stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Leo reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also... Keep in mind, the roles can be switched when you get my readings. You could be your person or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, could be a family member, a co-worker or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Libra, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. Happy holidays and take care.